right, so the Newberry books that inspired me to create Crown, there's, there's a lot of influences. Of course, I'm a huge jazz and hip hop fan. I'm a big poet, um, poetry fan, but the Newberry books I can think of uh, are Holes. Um, I love um, Maniac McGee. Um, obviously, from the poetic standpoint, I love the crossover by Kwame Alexander. Uh, shout out to Kwame. Um, but the book that really inspired me from my, this is my first picture book was this picture book, Last Stop on Market Street, and created by Matt De La Pena and uh, Christian Robinson as the illustrator. I think they did a good job of capturing, of capturing um, Dazzle Jack Keats' mode with uh, Peter. And again, this was a book that featured an African American boy just being a kid. And I really pride myself on creating books like that where African American boys or children are just being children, not really uh, encased by the usual stereotypical themes that are created for black children, but just being children. And I think Matt did a great job with his book. Um, the story is awesome. But there's a lot of beautiful prose in here, like uh, he saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves, saw a family of hogs slicing through the sky, saw the old woman's butterflies dancing free in the light of the moon. CJ's chest grew full and he was lost in the sound, and the sound gave him the feeling of magic. That's beautiful, man. So, uh, yeah, Matt, keep on doing your thing, brother, and you inspired artists like me to create um, books like Crown. So. Good looking out, man. Thank you. Peace.